Hi, and thanks for joining us on our YouTube channel. My name is Ola, and I'm a child and youth liaison at Family Futures. Today, we are going to make our very own bath bombs. This can be used as part of your self-care routine. As remember, self-care is super important for each of us to do. By doing it, we maintain a healthy relationship with ourselves by producing positive feelings, which then boosts our confidence and self-esteem. So, let's get started. You will need to get a few items ready before we can start. You will need a mixing bowl, a utensil to mix, a spray bottle of some sort if you have one, baking soda, lemon juice, and some kind of oil. So either vegetable oil, olive oil, or coconut oil will work. Okay, so now that we have our items, we can get started. First, you will need a quarter cup of baking soda. So we're gonna start with that, and we're gonna put it into our bowl. Next, we are going to add our teaspoon of oil. Just dump it in there. And now you're gonna mix as best as you can. So you're gonna mix it until it all mixes together. Now, if you want to make a colorful bath bomb, you can grab some food coloring. I'm gonna be using green today. And you're just gonna add in a few drops. And then mix it all together. Okay, once you've got all your food coloring mixed into it, you're going to take your lemon juice and your spray bottle and you're gonna fill your lemon juice into the spray bottle. And now we're going to spritz one or two spritzes into the mixing bowl and then mix. You wanna make sure that you don't put too much lemon juice in at one time um, as the mixture will start fizzing. And we want the fizzing to start when we put the bath bomb in the water and not while we're mixing it. So to check and see if it's ready, you can grab it in your hand and mush it together. If it sticks together, then it's about ready to go. I'm going to add in a few more squirts. And see, it's starting to clump together now. So next, you are going to need some saran wrap and an egg carton. You can also use any sort of mold. For this one, I used a measuring cup and just packed it into the measuring cup. So once it's ready to go, you're going to put your saran wrap into your egg carton so that the egg carton doesn't get wet. And then we're going to put our baking soda mixture into the egg carton and pressing it down nice and compact. And like I did for the other bath bomb right here, you can mix it up with a bunch of different colors. There you go. So you're going to pack it in there and then you're gonna leave it to dry for two to three days. Um, it might look dry after one day, but the center won't be dry yet. So make sure you leave it for a minimum of two days. Three days will be better. I hope you enjoyed making your very own bath bomb today. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you again soon. When you're ready to use your bath bomb, try taking a minute or two to practice some mindfulness. So fill your bathtub up with some bath water and then place your bath bomb in the water. Once you do, take a minute to close your eyes and take a deep breath in and out. Focusing on the sound of the bath bomb fizzing while you continue to take deep breaths.